video, I will demonstrate how to run external scans in Tenable SC. Tenable SC supports the use of Tenable I.O. as an access scanner within Tenable SC. It can be used to audit internet-facing IP addresses for both network and web application vulnerabilities from the cloud. Tenable I.O. scanner can be added to Tenable SC in the same way that internal, local or remote NASA scanners are added. Before you begin, make sure you have an active Tenable I.O. subscription and you know your username and password to log in. We will need this information during our configuration steps. Once that is taken care of, sign in into Tenable SC with your admin credentials to add NASA's Cloud Scanner. From the Resources drop-down, select NASA Scanners. From the NASA page, click on the Add button. Name your NASA scanner and create the optional description. For the host name, enter the host name of your existing Tenable I.O. subscription, which is cloud.tenable.com. For the port number, enter 443, used by the cloud scanner. Enter a username and a password for an active Tenable I.O. user. In the Active Scan section, select the Scan Zone to associate with the scanner. I'd like to know that I created a dedicated Scan Zone beforehand and you will need to do that as well. This Scan Zone will be using our external scanner. Scan Zones are areas of your network that you want to target in an active scan. Associating an IP address or range of IP addresses with one or more scanners in your deployment. Click the Submit button. Once you add it, your NASA scanner will appear under the NASA scanner with the status Working. We also recommend creating repository specifically for external scan data. I did create the dedicated repository already, but you will have to do it as well. What we just did is we made sure to add the NASA Cloud Scanner we created a scan zone and assigned our external scanner to a scan zone. And finally, we made sure to create a dedicated repository that will store our external scan data. Now we can go ahead and sign out from the admin user account and sign back in under the security manager account to create the external scan. From the Scans drop-down, go ahead and click on the Active Scans, click on the Add button, name your scan, select the desired policy. Under the Settings, go ahead and select the dedicated scan zone that is using our external scanner. Select our dedicated repository, select the desired targets. and hit Submit. Now all you have to do is launch your scan.